Hey, Joshua Austin here with the Dentistry IQ Product Navigator Video Portal. Today, we're gonna to take a look and do a video demonstration of the Ivoclar Optrosculpt Pad and Optrosculpt Next Generation Composite Instruments. The Optrosculpt Pad uh, helps us for anterior restorations. The Optrosculpt Next Generation helps us for posterior restorations. And these are instruments that help us shape uh, and add in occlusal anatomy to our composites to hopefully help reduce some of our finishing time. Less finishing time, more productive and profitable we are, and so I think that's a win-win. Uh, let's go take a look at these, and let's see how you can use these instruments to help get really good anatomy in your composite restorations. Well, here we are with the Optrosculpt Next Generation and Optrosculpt Pad uh, instrument by Ivoclar Vivident, and th these are great instruments for placing direct resin composites. And we've reviewed the uh, Optrosculpt pad before, and this is a great instrument for uh, anterior composites, uh, for, for pushing and padding your composite around. As you can see, it's got a nice thin composite instrument on this side of it. It actually has a little ruler here with some golden proportion kind of stuff uh, that, that really helps for, for determining widths of teeth and, and you know doing centrals and laterals and whatnot. Uh, but what's really great about this instrument is, is these little pads here. And so these little pads really help uh, for anteriors to uh, kind of push the composite around. And so I'm gonna grab one out here, and then we're going to uh, take a look at it, and then we'll take a look at the uh, next generation one. And so, if you take a look at that, you know, it's a nice pad, you know, to really be able to, you know, push and sculpt composite um, and really, you know, thin the, the composite and work it around a bevel and whatnot. And so, you know, this is a really nice tool for anteriors. And you flip it to the other side and you've got the composite instrument where you can do, do all your stuff. And so, you know, this is a, a really go-to instrument for me for, for anterior composites. And so this has been out for a couple years. We've reviewed this for DE before and for the uh, product navigator newsletter. What's new though is this instrument, which is for you know, the same idea but for posterior teeth. And now if you think about it, you know, our needs for, for sculpting composite on posterior teeth are not going to be the same as they are for anterior teeth. And so Ivoclar has come up with these uh, attachments here. And as you can see, for posterior teeth, we've got three different attachments in this one little kit. There's 20 of each in here of a ball, a chisel, and a pointed tip. And so if you open this thing up here, you can see they're color-coded, so you kind of know which one you know, you're getting um, just by looking at the color. And here is the ball tip. And so it's the same sort of deal. These are Teflon coated. You can put this either direction on the instrument depending on what's going to work better for what you're trying to do. Um, so if you're trying to maybe get back behind uh, on a number uh, 2 or 15 and, and really maybe sculpt something and the only way to get back there is kind of from, from the lingual, then, then that may work really well. Um, and then you can, you can put it on like, uh, like that as well. And so you can really see, you know, how, how that little ball may help you, you know, really to, to help sculpt and, and whatnot some, some occlusal anatomy and, and, and what have you. So you've got, actually got two of those. You've got two ends that you could use here. So you could use uh, one of the other attachments on the other end if you wanted. And so let's like go, we started with the ball. Let's go over here. And this is, uh, this is going to be called uh, the chisel is what they call this one. And so you would just pop this on there just like you did the other one. And it looks, surprise, surprise, like a chisel. And so you can really see how that chisel could help you potentially like in carving, you know, inclined planes and that kind of deal and putting, you know, sharper anatomy in maybe after if you use that ball to pack uh, composite in there. So you could see how this could really help you, you know, mimic some of that occlusal anatomy that we see on posterior teeth. So that's the ball and the chisel, uh, and we still have one more. And so I'm going to pop that one off, and we're going to take a look here at the uh, pointed tip. And that's the purple one in this kit here. And there's the pointed tip right there. And again, it looks kind of like a PKT instrument, right? Kind of that same sort of shape of that PKT instrument that we were probably trained to use in dental school. You know, you slide that on whichever direction is going to work best for the tooth that you're working on. 
And again, you can really see how that could help you uh, in, in shaping and, and whatnot, you know, the occlusal anatomy on some of our posterior composites. And so, you know, between these three, I think this, this gives you the ability to really do some really nice uh, anatomy and posterior composites that may be more difficult for you to do without this. And so these are really nice. These attachments are obviously one-time use only. They're Teflon coated, so, so composite doesn't stick to them. Uh, and they, they work really, really well. Uh, they cost a, a, a less than a dollar a piece. I'd say probably around um, you know, 60 cents a piece. And so honestly, most of the time, you're probably not going to need all three of them. You know, you're probably going to use you know, one or two you know, and, and unless you have like a big composite where you're really putting in a bunch of anatomy, you're not going to need all three of these, you know, so so that can keep your, your disposable costs pretty low. Um, but but I really like these Optosculpt instruments. I think they, they work very, very well um, and they do exactly what they say they do. They help you sculpt composites so that you spend less time finishing. And I think that can be really, really important. So give these a try. Give these a look. Uh, you can get them at pretty much any major uh, dental outlet. Uh, Henry Schein, Patterson, Safco, Burkhart, any of those will have these. Uh, I think Ivoclar is a great company. Uh, and this really follows in line with their mission, which is to, to try to enable dentists to do really aesthetic restorations. Uh, proficiently and productively. So give uh, Optosculpt Pad and Optosculpt Next Generation uh, for posteriors a look. I think you will enjoy it. You guys have a great day. Thank you.